Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix uh, Google Play Store, you know, the process com.android.vending. You know, this application has stopped unexpectedly. Okay, guys, so if you are facing this error uh, when you try to open Google Play Store and you get this, you know, error. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of methods and you can try that out. And let's see if this fixes your issue or not. Okay. So method one we have is uh, you have to reset app preferences. So in order to do that, you have to go to the settings of your phone. And uh, here you need to find your apps or application manager. So I have apps, so just tap on it. And uh, just tap on this, you know, three dots over here and then tap on reset app preferences. Okay. As you can see at the pop-up reset app preferences this will reset all preferences for a disabled app disabled app notifications and you can read that out and guys you will not lose any app data so just you know tap on this reset apps and it's now done okay and after that you need to restart your phone and let's see if this fixes your issue okay okay guys so suppose you tried this you know method one and it doesn't fix this your issue uh, then you can try this method too. That is, uh, you have to clear the cache and data of a Google Play Store and also uninstall the updates of it. Okay, so just go to you know the settings of your phone again and find your apps or application manager. So just tap on apps. I have okay, and then you have to swipe to the right to all tabs and find here Google Play Store. So, find that so here I have Google Play Store just tap on it tap on you know clear data tap on ok and also you have to uninstall the updates and then tap on ok do you want to replace this app with factory version yes tap on ok as you can see it's uninstalling the updates and also guys if you see download manager then you have to clear its cache and data as well Okay, so let me go back and let me check if I have in you know, a download manager. Okay, so let me go, let me find that. Okay, here I have download manager. Just tap on it and then tap on you know let me allow that and then tap on clear data and then tap on OK. Okay, it's now you know done. Okay, let me tap on OK. It's now done as well. Okay. So guys, after that you need to restart your phone and uh, open Play Store and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not. Okay. Okay, guys. So suppose you tried this you know method two and it doesn't fix your issue, then you can try this method three. So you have to install the latest version of Google Play Store. So first of all, you have to allow installation of apps from unknown sources. So in order to do that, you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here security. Okay, so here I have security. Just tap on it and you have to, as you can see, we have this unknown sources. So you have to allow installation of apps from unknown sources. So I already, you know, enabled it. Let me just tap on it in order to disable it and enable it again in order to show you. Okay, as you can see, just you know, at the pop up, you have to tap on it. Okay, so it's, it's enabling. Let me show you. Okay, okay, guys, as you can see, it's now enabled. Okay, guys, and after that, you need to go to apkmail.com and do a search for Google Play Store, and you have to download it and install it. Okay, so let me show you apkmail.com so you have to open your browser I am using Google Chrome you might have other browsers like Firefox so it's now so you have to you know go to this website that is apkmail.com okay. so let me type that apkmail.com
okay guys so it's now opening and after that uh, you know you need to click on this search icon over here and you have to type here Google Play Store so let me type that and after that you need to tap on search over here so it's now searching and here I have you know different you know versions of Google Play Store and you have to tap on the latest one okay and you have to just download this okay, okay guys so you have to you can read it read the information and here you have you know this you know download you know the button over here you just need to click on this and it will be downloaded okay and after that you need to install it and you have to restart your phone and go to play store and let's see if this you know fixes your issue okay okay guys so you tried you know this method 3 and it doesn't work for you okay so you have to try this you know uh, method 4 that is you have to do a factory data reset okay so let me show you how you can do that okay guys so you have to go to the you know the settings of your phone and here you need to find the backup and reset so here I have backup and reset just tap on it and then tap on factory data reset and uh, here uh, you have you know reset phone you know option okay guys so make sure you take a backup of your you know device before doing that so try this method 4 as well and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay guys so you tried you know all these methods that is method 1 2 uh, you know 3 and 4 and it doesn't you know fix this your issue then you have to try this method 5 so if you are using custom roams like Snazen mode uh, then you have to reflash with the proper G apps package for your Android operating system okay guys so and alternatively you can also reflash the entire operating system okay so guys if you're using you know custom roams then you can try this method 5 so you can try all these methods and let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not so hope this tutorial helps thanks for watching and i will catch you in my other tutorials uh, bye bye take care